Alright guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to look at the fibre mesh add-on. Now this has been resurrected, it used to be a 2.7 add-on, so some of you guys might already know about it, but it now works in Blender 2.8, and as an added bonus, it's also free, so cheers to the developer. Now in all honesty, this plugin is pretty self-explanatory, so in traditional fashion, I'll delete the cube, and we'll use the trusty skill. Now when I was playing around with this earlier on, the skill object's pretty damn dense, so I'm going to add in a remesh modifier. I'll change it to blocks, I'll put the depth to something like 6, and we get this kind of Minecraft effect, and I'll hit apply. What I'll do is I'll rename this to skull, and I'm going to duplicate the object a few times, and it gives the add-on a little bit more topology to play with, so I can just come up here, copy, paste, I'm going to rename this skull 2, I'll paste that again, and I'll rename this skull 3. So the add-on is very simple, what I'll do is I'll select the first object, I'll hide these two, I'll come into the object properties, which is this little orange square, and you'll see here, bounce fibres, and it actually tells you, this is not a bounce fibre yet, would you like to convert it, and you hit enable. Now initially you won't see anything happening, but what you can do here is you can actually hide the original mesh, and when you play around with the bounces, let's see what we get. Pretty damn cool, if I do say so myself. Now, like I mentioned, the plugin is very simple. Number of bounces, we could put the sub steps up, but I believe we have enough. We can introduce a little bit of random noise to the scene. Random seed, we can play around with the random seed, I like that one there. Thickness, I'll leave that at 0 0.01. Random thickness, I will leave that as well, and we can leave the height offset. So I'll select the path, and because it's actually a path slash a curve, you can play around with the geometry settings, but I'm going to convert this into a mesh, so I'll go to Object, Convert, mesh from curve slash surface, and we get this really nice object. Now keep in mind, if we take a look at the outliner, you can actually see what it done to your mesh. It renamed it Fibre Skull, and it puts it into a tree. So our original mesh is always going to be there, and the fibre mesh is inside the trees. So keep that in the back of your mind when you're actually converting. So I'm going to select the skull too, and I'm going to repeat the exact same process. Object Properties, Rename, and I'll start moving things about. So I'm going to give you one tip. Use Selection essentially generates from each face, so if I enable Use Selection, put the number of bounces down to 3, this can actually be keyframed. So we can keyframe this at 3 for example, and we can scroll all the way up and set another keyframe. So that's one tip. I'm going to actually disable Use Selection, and I'm actually trying to aim for the lower half of the jaw, so let's say number of bounces, I'll put it down, I'll change the random noise, I'll change the random seed, and we'll try and get something like this. Pretty cool. Select the object, object, convert, convert from mesh to curve, and I'll do it one last time. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, do you need to keep doing this? And the answer is no. But the more you do it, the better the mesh looks, to be honest. So I'll select this object, rename, change the bounces, I'll just go for something quite random. Perfect. I'll select the object, object, Convert, Mesh from Curve slash Surface, and what I'll do here is, I'll just enable all the fibres that I created. And we get something like this. Pretty damn cool, pretty damn quick, it's a free add-on, what more could you ask for? Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I have no mates, you know what to do. Peace.